before I begin I'd like to show you something with the editor this is the default layout if you go to view viewports this is the way I like to keep them the way I can resize a map or look at a certain viewpoint in full screen also you can move them around now if you ever get it to where you've moved them around you just want to put it back to the way it should be you go configure it puts them right back to where it should be all right movers um, I use the same mover for all my maps so I'm going to show you how to get something out of a different map I'm going to open up the map that I want to get something out of <coughs> now there's the mover I want if you notice if you go to static meshes my level it's in there okay so now keeping the editor open we're gonna file open say no and then go to the map that we're working on Now if you open up the static meshes and it's still there. Now we want to right click on add mover and then choose mover and the mover shows up wherever your brush is so there it is there I have to fix the texture on it there we go so we're gonna move this to where we want it Our mover. I'm going to take you into full screen here. That's too high to get up with a jump, so that's why we need this mover. I'm going to go to mover properties by right clicking on it. And I'm going to go to mover. This is key number zero, the starting point. We have two keys, bottom and top. So let's go to key number one. We're going to have to rise it by pressing control and the two mouse buttons. And we can rise it up to the top. There, there's our key two. Key zero, it's at the bottom. Key one, it's at the top. Just a side note that a mover can only have a maximum of seven keys. Always leave it at zero, your starting point. In some of my maps, I made the mistake of. setting the mover too quick so you go to step on it and poof, it's gone without you so I like to put a delay time of one second that gives the player enough time to step on it player bump there's you can have any bump pawn bump or player bump we're gonna leave it at player bump if you notice in the map I have my tanks map I have it to any bump if you notice sometimes you can shoot the door and the door will raise up on the big garage that was any bump we're gonna use player bump because we want it 
only when a player stands on it to go to the top. Here, return one encroach. We don't want that. We want crush one in, one encroach. If the player is caught under it, it's going to crush him. You can have it set to ignore as well, where it will just go up and down no matter what's in its way. I like crush. Move time. How long do you want it to take to get to the top? One second. It'll be you're up there really quick. Uh, stay open time. It'll be stay up there for four seconds and come back down. You can also get real detailed and get into triggers, like um, in my map, Sniper's Paradise, the elevators are using triggers. When you walk up to the elevator, that's when it goes up, that sort of thing. But uh, that mover's done. You have to build all, file, save as. And you're done.